What risks are there to a foreign owner of real estate in Ukraine? I definitely recommend you to worry when you buy or sell some property here in Ukraine. I'm sitting with the doctor of law, Konstantin Bonar here in Kyiv, Ukraine. Today, we're gonna to talk about investing in real estate in Ukraine, the do's and the don'ts. Welcome, Konstantin. Thank you very much, we're glad to be here. So before we get going, what type of law do you practice? Give us a little bit of your background. How long have you been practicing law, law in Kyiv? Yeah, I'm practicing more than 15 years here in Kyiv, Ukraine. I'm practicing in tax law, investment law, corporate and real estate. And I understand a lot of your clients, how, mu how much of your clients generally are foreigners, English speaking? Uh, more than uh, 60%. Uh, so here's a man who knows what he's talking about, a real estate investing um, and generally corporate law. So we're going to talk about buying in corporations versus buying personally and in foreign corps. So first, let's jump into what are the options for foreign registration for a foreign buyer? He can buy it in his personal name in a Ukraine corporation that he is a shareholder or beneficial owner and in a foreign corporation. Is that right? Yeah, you are completely right. So you have uh, pretty wide options to, to buy real estate uh, here in Ukraine. Yeah, let's talk about tax implications first. Let's say if you buy it personally, uh, you buy a, a property for 100000 and you sell down the road for, say, 200000 What percent and how much taxes you would have to pay as personal Ukraine corporation and foreign corporation? So you, you need to pay 18% uh, uh, as a difference between um, price that you buy, buy and, and, sell. and sell. Yeah, mm, the capital gain. Okay, so 18%. So it doesn't matter if it's personal Ukraine corporation or foreign corporation, it's still 18%? Uh, yeah, the same rate. But uh, if we are talking about uh, company, uh, we need Take, uh, take into account the expenses of this company. Right, we were talking off camera. So you have as a corporation expenses, your computer, your office, maybe automobile expenses, driving to your property and stuff like that. That's deducted from the capital gain for an, for yeah, an, mm -hmm. yeah, of okay. course. But as we were talking about off camera, it's tricky. It's not exactly simple to run a corporation in Ukraine. You have a lot of expenses. Yeah, you have to pay mandatory employee tax for one, right? You have to have employee, minimum one, right? Yeah, yeah, completely right. So it's not as simple as back home, guys, where we can just have a shell company and that shell company, you know, you, you don't have to pay any taxes. You don't really have to do anything with it. So back home in Canada, America, the predominant reason to buy in a company name is for asset protection um, so that you can kind of um, hide your assets more in America with through land trusts than in Canada. Uh, it's a little bit more searchable in Canada than America. Uh, let's talk about asset protection then in Ukraine. So first of all, there is a, there's a registry, right, for property ownership and lawyers and notaries can search this register and find out, for example, myself, Joseph Ricard, you can search and see how many properties I own in Ukraine. Yes. Yeah, you all completely agree. So I am, uh, as a lawyer or a notary can find find you and your property and also we uh, there is the opportunity to find uh, you as a beneficial owner of uh, of some company who who, who owns the, the property so if I understand you right it doesn't matter in the uh, national registry if I buy it in my name or a Ukraine company's name or American Canadian company's name or Spanish company's name, you have to list the beneficial owner on title. Yeah. So it's searchable, you can it's, find me regardless, yeah? Yeah, now it's uh, very strict requirements. So if we, if compare 10 years ago, uh, it, it's not, but now it's very strict. Mm -hmm. Okay, so asset protection becomes harder. Whereas in America, you can easily register in a land trust and then you're ba basically stealth. It's not searchable. Uh, but uh, we are talking uh, uh, about notaries and lawyers. So not every person can search and can find such kind of information. 
So we are talking about lawyers and notaries. So a common a common citizen, a common person does not have access to of this course, registry. Of database. course, of course. Konstantin, a lot of uh, foreigners have heard about you know the corruption in Ukraine, and they have these worries about owning a property in Ukraine. Should a foreigner be worried? Can corruption uh, cause him to, for example, lose his property, or uh, you know, should he be worried? What risks are there to a foreign owner of real estate in Ukraine? I definitely recommend you to worry when you buy or sell some property here in Ukraine. But also, I uh, I can recommend to work when you buy or sell property, for example, in America and Canada and so on. You need to very attentively read uh, your contract between sell or buy your property. It's very important because if you, if you work with clear and uh, very right uh, uh, contract, uh, there will no chance uh, to any corruption uh, or maybe any uh, any fraud or maybe any other crime uh, with your buying or with your selling. But uh, if you don't want to to read uh, uh, to read this contract, please uh, find out a good lawyer and uh, everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. So, I understand the main risk factor in a foreign buying real estate is in the contract. Yes, of course. Okay. So, the point here is, guys, um, have a translator translate the contract into English from Ukrainian language because all contracts by law must be in Ukrainian language, correct? Must be in Ukrainian language, it's true, but uh, also it, it can be also in English or maybe other language. So get it translated into English, have a professional legal translator um, and make sure as well that you have a lawyer that you know you can trust. The lawyer comes highly recommended by people that you know and trust. That's really important, would you say, Constantine? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, yes. What about title risks? Uh, is there risk of uh, challenges to title in Ukraine? What, uh, what type of registration system do you have? In Canada, we have the land Torrent system, which is very safe. So we have title insurance, which guarantees that, okay, when the property was transferred to you, uh, it's in your name, you have right to that property. Nobody's gonna come along later and say, you know, my great, great, great grandfather owned this property and it was a fraudulent transfer and da, da, da. For example, in the West Indies, West Indies, Trinidad and Tobago, for example, they don't have, um, at least back in 1997 when I bought there, they didn't have title insurance and there could be a threat to your title. Generational threat, like I said, great, great grandfather. And you could actually be in court fighting your ownership of the property even though you paid for it. Theoretically, of course it's possible, but we need to understand this is a criminal uh, criminal uh, offense. So this is uh, punishment, but by a criminal law of Ukraine, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty hard uh, punishment. What about title insurance? Um, do you know what that is exactly? When you buy a property in America or Canada, you can get insurance that this insurance says that they will protect you in the unlikely event of some fraud that happened. They uh, guarantee that you are the title owner. Yeah, it's yeah, extra yeah. insurance. No, 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 we don't have such kind of things. In this case, no guarantee. Um, and uh, it is very important to find a good advisor Yes, as a professional who can help with this. Yeah, especially if there's no title insurance. It's even more important to make sure that you're represented by a solid registered lawyer and you read the contract, translate the contract and uh, deal with reputable people. That's very, very important. We'll be back with real estate conveyancing in Ukraine, the do's and the don'ts and the risk factors. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. 
every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.